What's up guys, it's Josh from Keep It Techie and today I want to do a quick video on an application that will allow you to draft diagrams and plans. So the application I want to talk about today is called Dyer and it basically is short for diagram and I have the Ubuntu page pulled up for it. And this is somewhat of a continuation of the LibreOffice uh, suite video that I just did. This application is actually uh, quite close to Microsoft Visio, which is another application that you can add to the Office suite uh, in Microsoft. And so just to read a little bit about it, uh, Dial lets you create and edit technical diagrams and plans whether it's wiring, diagrams, uh, simple maps, or even a plan of your kitchen, Dia has all it needs to produce a precise, professional-looking graphic. And it has some information on how to install it, as well as some hints and tips. And let me click here so I can take you to the actual Dia page. And just to point this out, this application is currently not being developed anymore, uh, but it still works and it's in all of the repositories. So I just wanted to take you guys to their actual page. Uh, they have a wiki page under uh, wiki.gnome.org. And this will give you a little bit more information. It says, welcome to Dia. New homepage Dia is a GTK based diagram creating program for GNU Linux, Mac OS, Unix, and Windows and is released under the GPL license. Uh, Dia is roughly inspired by the commercial Windows program Visio. Now I've used Visio in the past and this was when I was a network administrator. Um, I used Visio to actually map out like the network of, uh, let's see, I worked for a school at one point um, where I managed the whole network and Visio was one of the applications that I used when we came up with the plan on rewiring the whole uh, network in the school as well as the new portions of the school adding to it. So put that all into the proposal and that helped us map out everything as well as come up with the cost and all that stuff for actually setting up the network. So now I wanna go through and show you guys how to install it on Linux. Okay, so right now I am on Zubuntu. Um, just wanted to show you guys on Ubuntu system. I normally do things on my main Orch system, but I wanted to show you guys on uh, Ubuntu or Zubuntu, which is basically Ubuntu with the XFCE desktop. So uh, it's a simple install, you just, it's in all of the repositories, like I stated earlier. So you just mainly type sudo apps uh, update. Let's update first. And I'm sure that I updated this system before I started. So just want to run a check again before I install. Okay, so now we run the installs. So it's sudo apps install dia and in orch is pretty much the same thing as long as you use a uh, installer or the package manager uh it's sudo pacman uh, dash capital s and then dia it's in the repository for orch as well so let's run through and install it shouldn't take too long it's not a big program it's like 30 megabytes or so And actually, I should have made this a little bigger, but we'll roll with it. Pretty sure you guys seen it, seen what I typed in. So, so I'll be back when it finishes installing. Okay, so now that the installation is done, uh, let's go down and open up the application so we can see how to use it. So, I'm going to just go to all and then dial. So, as you can see, it's not exactly like Visio, and I'm not 100% sure if it has all the options that Visio has, but it has the basics. So you can go through and set up, like I said, set up flow charts. You know, it has some of the same options in there. You could, like for instance, put boxes in there. Uh, you could draw lines in between boxes. 
uh, just like, you know, in, uh, in Vizio. Um, so let's put another box out there. See if we can link to it. We can grab that one and point directly to the box. Just like in Vizio. You know what I'm saying? It's not 100% the same. Um, and to be honest, I haven't used Vizio in a little while because I haven't had to set up networks. I'm a database administrator now, so I don't really touch Vizio as much as I used to. But um, from what I remember, this is pretty much, you know, how it works. And you can go through and as you can see, your lines stay together uh, like it's supposed to. So no matter how you, where you move the boxes at, the lines will stay um, connected. Uh, you could put your text in in the actual boxes like this is uh, let's say router uh, one you know and actually let's go bam and we can move this in there and make it centered bam and then you know put uh you know your text in here let's say this is a switch you want to use a different symbol or something uh i can't remember it was specific images that you would use for uh you know routers switches i forgot all of that to be honest <laughs> but as you can see you can use this just like visio the only difference is i don't think you can save it in the same format so let's see save as um yeah it, it has its own um file so you will have to open it up in dia so it's a dia file dot dia file so if you move this to like windows you will have to install uh dia on windows in order to open it up but uh most of the time uh once you once you create one of these things i know in the past once i created it, i always converted it to like a pdf or something uh, so I can add it to some documentation or something that I'm I'm building. So that's the whole purpose of of it for me. So yeah, you could just save it as the dial file. Um, and just to go through all the menu options, you know, you got your file, new, open, save, save as. You can export it. So let's see if we can export it to something else. Yeah, you can actually export it to PDF and export to png image files um and i don't oh and it actually has visio i did not know that so i'm learning with you guys because i haven't played with this application before but yeah you can save it as a visio file so you can open this up in visio so you can transfer it over to your windows computer as a visio file and open it up and you should be good to go so I, I don't want to go too deep into this. I just want to show you guys a little bit um, and you guys can read the documentation and figure it out from there. It's not that it's not that hard to to understand if you especially if you use uh, Visio. Yeah, they got a good overview of the documentation and everything on their actual website so if you have any questions you know refer to that or you can ask me and i'll try to help you out try to point you in the right direction but hope you guys enjoyed the video please like share subscribe and of course keep it techie